Hey everyone, how's it going? This is Kuro Tenshi here in the video talking about screen packs. I never thought I would, uh, never thought to say this before. I'm talking about three graphics, screen packs, and stuff because I have found a technique to have to make a um, custom screen pack that's actually better than the menu scrolling thing that we may see uh, just when we download the uh, Mugen 1.1 and I've done this on my Mugen I'll show you uh, quickly how it's done and here it is so um, as you can see it's not the classical menu uh, you can see uh, when you first download Mugen it's basically uh, something with uh, more features you have the mode description uh, just on the right you see uh, the highlighting mode here and the mode above the mode below and some static parts uh, on the other parts of the screen so how did I do that? first of all when you want to make such screen pack you gotta think of a static part and a variable part the static part is composed of all things that don't change when you scroll the menu. For example, here I'm on survival mode, so I go to survival pro mode. So, this part won't change, this one neither. This one keeps on um, moving around here. And this bar stays like this. So, this is the static part. Now, what does change? The highlight mode. More about the mode below and the description. So once you thought on what's gonna change, you can start making your uh, own screen pack. So uh, the static part, as I talked about, it could be animations and sprites, not just uh, static sprites. And um, it's just the way it is. You can just add these uh, paragraphs corresponding to sprites just like in a traditional Mugen uh, editing. For the variable part it's different. First of all you have to make a, a PFI file and a PNG sprite for all the modes you want to include in your Mugen. The reason why we make uh, PFI files is that if you want to uh, make uh, a different description for um, one of your modes you can easily access the corresponding PFI file and um, you change it, you make the other sprite, you import back and it's all good. So when you create the PFI file, you have to make the dimensions here correspond to uh, the dimensions of your Mugen. So mine is uh, 1280 and uh, 720. So um, here it is and you have to check the transparency it is important if you don't want uh, just the viral part to be uh, visible on your Mugen that would be graphically poor even if my screen packs is already graphically poor but you see what I mean I hope so uh, here you can make uh, the different texts or uh, the different uh, layers for corresponding sprites and uh, text and stuff so um, here you just have to uh, double click leaving the position and you can change to uh, I don't know survival mode here and it will just appear like this so of course I'm not gonna change it so once you do it you then what is then once the PFI file is done, and only after that, you redo the process by adding, by adding .png at the end. This will make the sprite of, um, of what you want to do, of the graphics. So, now that you have the sprite, we can make a font out of these mode graphics. So for this you open Fire Factory or even a text editor to do this but 
the easiest way to make an SSS file, even if I've encountered many bugs with it, is the fighter factory. So you can also do it with uh, the dev file. So the dev file, what you have to do is to uh, make uh, the corresponding lines here. You can basically uh, copy paste it with a few changes. So first of all, the things that stays at is is the font version first. You leave it at 2.00. That's just like it. Uh, I don't know why it is like this, but it's just like it. Then the name, just name it however you wish. After all, it's your own file. You ha don't have to name it AF Graphics. The author, you also the author of your font. Then the dev bracket. So, um, as we are gonna use a dot .sss file, we are gonna use type equal bitmap because otherwise you would have, if you would have used a true type font, you would have looked into uh, the. Um, the Windows font file, just like this. For the size, well, it doesn't matter because um, the main idea between this is that you're gonna attribute one let one character to one mode. So um, the spacing between uh, both uh, font glyphs and uh, the size of uh, one character won't matter anyway. However, leave offset equal zero zero because when you're gonna position the thing, if you have to uh, include another offset parameters and stuff like this, it's just gonna move, get more complicated. Um, it's just useless. And the name of the SSS file, which I name afgraphics.sss on my own. Then you make the sprite. So. Uh, make an SSS sprite like this. So uh, if you want to know what index corresponds to which letter, you can open for example um, in your Mugen file the enter 48. It's a, actually a good example. Then you see here for example that capital H corresponds to 72. So uh, if I correspond training to letter H and I look for um, this sprite, I'll leave group as 0, always. Index 72, I align to the top left, I add the image's palette, if not already added, and I never crop the image, otherwise it will uh, ruin the positioning of all this, as regards as we have already made it. And then finally, the system dev file. After you have saved this all, you can go back to the dev file. First of all, you add your font like this. Remember the number of the font is going to be useful afterwards. Scroll down to um, the title info. You change the ion font to minus one because you're not going to use um, anything for unselected mode. The number of your font here, leave it at zero because you don't want to change the colors, and one for left oriented. Then menu spacing is important, you have to leave it to zero, zero, because otherwise it's adding offsets that are useless. In the menu is a name, you have to change the corresponding mode to the letter you have attributed to the graphics. For these things, I don't really know, I just leave them at it, but I guess it's not important. And once you've saved it, you can open your Mugen and observe the results back again. Alright, so um, that's it. I hope my uh, tutorial wasn't too hard to follow. I don't know uh, if I'm gonna release this version, actually. I'm unsure, I have to uh, modify uh, a lot of things still and correct uh, still other things but maybe I'll tell you if I ever release it that's the way it is I guess and as always thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video hopefully maybe not one month later